Hello everyone, this is Chef Andros. Um, my last uh, uploads yesterday on YouTube um, were how to uh, cut a, a rabbit in pieces. And uh, of course I told you that um, uh, that rabbit I was going to make it into Stefano. That is a rabbit stew, which is um, a genuine uh, Greek uh, recipe. So, I have uh, just uh, taken my, my rabbit out of the oven. I will uncover it. And um, here um, is, the, is the stew. I will put the camera closer so that you can see. You can um, uh, see the uh, bay leaves and um, you can see the cinnamon sticks. And the onions, they are... Um, very nicely cooked. So let's um, see how the dish will look like. Um, uh, so as a professional chef, I know what, uh, what uh, where the meat lies um, uh, in the baking dish. So on the four corners, I have put the best uh, pieces of the rabbit. So I will take from here. This is a piece from the leg and um, and some onions. I did add um, a few potatoes which actually um, do not um, they are not part of the stifado but my my granddaughters are coming today they are very young and I know that they, they don't eat too many onions so this is the rabbit I will take now from the other uh, uh, corner of the baking dish. This is a piece of the loin. Um, so our stew looks fantastic. So this is stifado. It is a rabbit stew. Now, how I did it? Um, I sauteed, I fried the um, rabbit uh, in one pan and I caramelized the, the small onions in another pan. When I said uh, caramelized, that is literally, I fried them with uh, olive oil, I added some salt so I, I, uh, uh, I wanted the juices of the onions to come uh, out as possible, and um, then I put sugar, which literally caramelized the onions. Um, the, the rabbit in the first pan um, was, um, was being cooked as an ordinary uh, casserole with uh, with tomato puree and um, fresh tomatoes and bay leaves and cinnamon sticks and cumin, salt and pepper. Um, and then what I did, I put all the all the meat uh, below the uh, baking dish. I put the onions on top. I covered with uh, an uh, with an aluminium foil, and then I cooked it. Um, in an oven for three hours. When I said uh, cooked in the oven for three hours, that means that um, uh, for the first half hour, it was being cooked in a very high temperature so that it will start uh, to cook the meat. Then I put it in, in a moderate oven for another hour, and then it was simmering uh, at, uh, at 100 deg degrees um, Celsius uh, for another hour. So that is three hours of cooking, very, very slow cooking. And you can see that the meat is very, very tender. It falls apart. You see? Uh, it's uh, very, very tender. And the onions, they are, they are very tender. You, you can cut them um, so, so, so easily. So this is... Um, uh, I added some garlic, a few garlic cloves um, um, in, my, in, in my recipe. Um, so this is the original Greek stifado. Uh, for one and a half kilograms approximately of rabbit, I used uh, three kilograms of peeled, um, actually three kilograms of small onions. When they were peeled, of course, they were um, uh, not three kilograms, uh, just a bit less. So this is the Greek uh, stifado. Um, uh, I hope that uh, you will be uh, able to, to cook it uh, for yourself. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can email me. I can give you more uh, details how to make a Greek stifado. Thank you very much for watching. This was uh, Chef Andros. Bye-bye.